Hey guys, Paleo Chris. I'm out today with Bree up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And we're gonna be doing rock hounding all day today in spots that neither of us have ever been to, so we're really not sure exactly what we're gonna find yet. Bree has a bunch of spots marked off on a map. We're gonna be driving to them. We're gonna be hiking to road cuts. We're gonna be going to little mine tailings and all kinds of other areas to find anything interesting, gems, minerals, anything like that. So we're at the first spot right now. There's a trail right over there that we're about to take and we're gonna start finding some stuff. All right, we're leaving the main trail. It's a little side trail here. And uh, I think we're getting pretty close. The rocks here are endless, look at this. Everywhere. We could probably hunt this one pile all day, but we have lots of different places that we wanna check today before it gets too late. Look at that. It's like a pond or something out that way too. There's something right here. Very, very green looking. I'm not positive what that is. I am by no means an expert in this location, but it's very, very green. <laughs> we'll check out this killer one that Bree found. It's a piece, I guess, of uh, serpentine she's saying. So that's probably what that little uh, green rock that I found earlier was. Ooh. There are these big giant rocks here and you can see there's iron staining all over the place. This is a piece of that same rock right here. But you can see there's this shiny metallic looking stuff. We believe that's pyrite right there. So that's interesting. I'm gonna keep a few little pieces of that. We have that serpentine, some pyrite now. And we're gonna keep exploring. It looks like there's just an endless amount of area to walk around out here. Look at the banding on this thing. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right about there. Yeah, check that out. Really cool little stripes. Look at this little pad here of some type of moss growing. I thought it was growing on something, um, so I went to peel it up a little bit, and nope, it's just growing like that. Very cool. Very, very interesting color. Neither of us have any idea what this is. If you know, maybe let us know down in the comments below, but it's definitely something different. Oh, whoa. Okay, more of it there. Yeah, not a clue on that, guys. Check it out here. White-tailed deer jaws. Somebody murdered a deer. All right, we're through with this first spot right here. We're gonna walk back to the trail and see if we can find another spot to hunt right now. <sighs> the road is quite rocky now all of a sudden. It looks pretty interesting. Let's see. Look at this that Bree just found here on the road. That's sparkly pyrite all over there. It's the best pyrite that we've seen out here so far. Here's a piece of that serpentine growing off of some quartz there on the base, but you can check out that cool structure that it grows in. All those lines there, and it's just kind of flaked apart. But really super interesting color on that stuff. This place is super beautiful out here, guys. Just nature everywhere, no buildings, just cool little rocks all over the place, and woods. So we're actually going to start walking back right now because we have a few different places down that way that we want to check. We're going to get to the vehicle, drive there, and then see if we can find some different stuff besides the pyrite and serpentine that we've been finding here. All right, we're on our way to the next spot right now and uh, it should be like 10-15 minutes and we should be there. All right, guys, a quick detour at this little rocky road cut that we believe may have storylight crystals. Let's go check it out. Look at all the ferns in here. I'm making my way through. I see a couple large rocks in here. Let's go on through here. Uh, let me see. Does this rock have anything on it? No, not really. What about this? probably really hard to tell but these little bumps all over this stone are little store like crystals and these things are really interesting they can actually form like a perfect cross something to do with the uh, crystal structure and how they grow and uh, we're gonna start looking around this area and see if we can find a few more that's worth extracting look at that one right there very classic store like cross we're gonna see if we can get that out there's a chance it's gonna break we'll find out here in a second There it goes. 
So there you go. You can see the store light cross. It's out. It did break a tiny bit, but it's still a really, really nice example. We're going to try to get a few more of these, I think, before we move on to the next spot. All right, I worked on this one here. You can see the cross on that one as well, and it's loose. There it is. It is so interesting how those crystals grow. I found this little bottle to put tiny little store light crystals in, and we have a hitchhiker. Check him out, he's so cool. So I'm gonna sit that carefully right here. Bree said there's some quartz over here. Oh my goodness, making my throat way through those ferns. Oh wow, yeah. Oh yeah, that's cool. I like it with all the stuff growing all over it. Oh, that feels cool. Some micro Feel that. growing in there. Oh yeah. Shiny. Yeah, very shiny, yep. It's gummy. <laughs> Oh, it's almost like a, a like pinkish, a yeah. Oh, that's pretty neat, yeah. I like it. I like it I'll too. Keep a couple. Check out all the cool little mushrooms right here. So many of them. And then there's cool rocks all in here as well. Check out the rocks here. They're so cool from last night. It's so hot out right now that they're actually sweating. You can see the water all over it there. Very interesting, so cold. All right, there's the final little Starlight cross that we're gonna get. We're uh, about to jump back in the vehicle and head to the next spot where we could find potentially garnets and a bunch of other cool stuff. Take a look at how beautiful this area is, guys. Just beautiful. All right, we parked the vehicle down there and walked up here because there's all kinds of rocks all here that look a little bit interesting. So let's walk around here a bit and see if there's anything worth taking a closer look at. I cannot get over how shiny these rocks are. Look at that. Not sure exactly what that is. I think that might be the matrix rocks that uh, garnets can potentially come out of. Hopefully we'll find some garnets, but if not, that's pretty cool to see. Well, look right here. We have some small tourmaline crystals all in here. Black tourmaline, see it? Oh boy, that stuff's hard. I don't know why I don't have some legit chisels. All right, I smacked that rock really hard, and I did manage to get out some pretty neat pieces of tourmaline here. All that black you see is tourmaline growing on a little bit of quartz. Focus camera. Look at this. That's weird matrix stuff. Look at the tourmaline crystals there on the end. Let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, look at that stuff. That looks extremely nasty. It feels nice out here now. Bree is way over there picking up some cool stuff. <laughs> Look at this, really cool place. We are up at almost as tall as the trees on all these rocks. But really, all we've really found is that tourmaline, so I don't know, no garnets here, so far at least. We've been crawling around these rocks forever here, and check it out. We found this one rock, and look at that. Those are some faces of what appear to be garnets everywhere. There's another huge one over there. There's one right there. Small ones down oh, here. A bunch of them. I've always wanted to find garnets. And this is, this is interesting. I'm about to pull out the hammer right now. We have a screwdriver. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. Uh, nothing. There's definitely one right there. There. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, guys. So I don't have any chisels, but I have this screwdriver and this hammer. I see garnets everywhere. I'm about to pop out my very first garnet. I think this one right here is going to be it. I'm gonna work on it real carefully here. And there it is. There it is. That's my first garnet ever. Oh, look at it. It's like oh doubled God. up. It's like doubled oh up. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking right now, guys. Holy Are you cow, kidding me? Amazing. Look at all those faces everywhere. I'm freaking out right now. Garnets, there are garnets everywhere right here, guys. <laughs> my turn. Oh my goodness, look at that. Beautiful little garnet. More. More? 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 You need more? Get it. I want 30. 
30, we're gonna try our best. <laughs> so you may be wondering why these things don't look red and gym quality like you would normally expect a garnet to look. And that is because these things have been replaced by chlorite, which is the matrix rock that holds these garnets. So they're technically composed of chlorite now, but they have the crystal structure of a garnet. Bree is about to get her first garnet ever right here. Oh, it's, it's moving. starting to come. It's moving. <gasps> Look at that. Uh, that is incredible. <laughs> All right. I'm dying. All right, we have a whole bunch more out right now. Oh. Wiggle. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> There's a hiding garden. one right there, but oh, that one. That is the most killer display piece mm, right there. My God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mm, I see another one doubled up right here, guys. I'm gonna try to carefully extract it. I wasn't expecting big old giant garnets out of this place here. It's raining, guys. I'm not stopping yet. There are garnets everywhere here. That actually feels good. But I'm gonna have to put the camera up and use the GoPro, I think, from here on. <sighs> Alright guys, it feels much better out here than it did about an hour ago. Got Bree over there <laughs> hiding under the tree. <laughs> and we oh, yeah. have Is a mosquito on my face? Here, here oh no. Yeah, you got it. Okay, I got it. I had a mosquito on me guys. Well we have a little crack running right here. And I'm gonna keep uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the hammer a little bit more. Let's see. You can go ahead and do the extraction if you want. All right. I don't know. Let's see. And there's another smack or a pop. Oh. Let's see. There's some blows. Is that, that's a one. garnet. I like the color on that garnet right there. There's oh. One right here. It got, looks like they're connected. Oh, uh, two big garnets at least. There's three. One. Three garnets. So much mud. Uh, that. That's a good oh, piece. No. That's a good piece that right there. That's a really nice piece. Needs to be Ooh. cleaned up. Extra Ooh. muddy now. Extra muddy. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, I think we're about to wrap it up here. We're going to jump in the vehicles. We're going to make our way over to Lake Superior to do some hunting with UV lights for Euper lights and other cool stones that glow under ultraviolet light. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and uh, let's start making our way out of this place. There is just an unbelievable amount of rocks right here on the shore. Let's take a real close look here and see what we can find. Check it out, I found the fossil. It's a little horn coral right there. That is so cool, I like it. All right, I'm actually walking down in the water right now. I'm not gonna lie, that water is pretty cold. Very rocky out here though. Looks really good over there. See that bright red piece of jasper right there? That's cool. Let's see what else we have here. Everything looks cool to me. I'm not used to that. I just kind of want to pick up everything and keep it all, but I can't. Here's a pretty agate debris just found. You can see on here somewhere, I think there's a little bit of banding. Bree found this one right here. It's another agate. And it wears the sun. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it kind of glows a little bit when you hold it up to the sun. Won't be too much longer and that sun will be all the way down. It'll be getting dark and we'll be able to pull out the UV lights to check for Uper lights on this beach here. Look at this thing that Bree just found here. It's full of beautiful quartz crystals. Little small ones. I don't know if you guys can see that thing sparkling, but it is pretty mind-blowing right here to the naked eye. What on earth? We found a pile of rocks right here on this lake shore and we're seeing little evidence of pieces of like calcite. But check this out, there's little weird purple stuff right here. We're not quite sure what that is yet, but we're gonna search around and see if we can find some nicer pieces of it right here. 
So some of these big giant rocks that we were looking at look like they have some crazy stuff inside. Bree's digging inside this little hole with a stick here. But look at this. Blue. We don't know what on earth that is. If you guys have any idea, let us know down in the comments below. It's like, it's a bluish color. And look at that. Calcite. Yeah, wait, uh, right there. Yeah, look at that. It's growing all around this calcite. And uh, it's a very different color, a different crystal structure. But look at that calcite crystal, good God. Look at that. That is a beautiful calcite crystal, or a couple crystals. We're gonna see what else we can find in this rock here. Oh, that's looking really, really oh, interesting. Oh, 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 oh my. <laughs> Die. We need to get this rock out right here somehow. We do. But this rock's on top. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Yeah, he's wedged. All right, so we have a hole going right here, and uh, there's a little hollow pocket right there. And we're pulling the dirt out, and we're finding something that I've never seen before, guys. I'm gonna try to get a good clip of this. Look at these tiny little crystals. We're getting quite a few of them here. They're like, um, I think it's like a blue crystal. That's a perfect termination at the top. We have no idea what these are. So if you guys know, please let us know. Look, there's another one right there. What are these? I like them a lot. Look at that. They're like, they're like a blue, I think. They're blue. Yeah, they're a blue crystal. And they grow in that structure right there. We have that rock pride out here. Look at all the crazy crystals all inside of it. I'm These, dying. I am dying. I I'm am dying. dying. Look I at this. Receding from my body. <laughs> oh yeah, let's clean it. Oh, look at the color, guys. <laughs> look at the color. Look at the. Oh, look, look at, at that. look at that little crystal inside. Look at that. Look oh, at that little crystal in there. Okay, I gotta clean it. All right, all right. Look at the inside of that pocket. We need to get that somehow. Oh, do you see that in there, Brie, behind that? Yeah. Oh. All right, we're gonna leave that rock right there. We know we want to find a way to get that, maybe to break it into pieces first and get it. I'm gonna walk around up here and see if I can find anything else before that sun goes down. Yeah, we gotta dig it this one. Yeah, we do. Look at that purple stuff that Brie found there. Little single calcite crystal and look down here on this rock that we found. Look at that. That's calcite and that's pretty big calcite to be honest. Yeah. All through this vein here, big calcite crystals. Look at this one down here with some of that purple stuff growing on it. That's a single calcite point right there. Really interesting color. And then the purple flower, uh, or whatever that is. Yeah, weird purple stuff. Let me Oh, look at all that stuff right down there. Yeah, it's so, <laughs> it's so amazing. All right, guys, safety glasses here, hammer, and I have a screwdriver. We're gonna see what we can do with this rock here. All right. Well, guys, the sun's going down, but we found something I have never seen anything like that before. We're gonna have to ID that a little bit later. After a little bit of research, we found out that this is celestine, also known as celestite, which has calcite crystals growing on the matrix with them and then sometimes actually off of the crystals themselves. Never really found blue crystals like this, not this vibrant blue. So a very unexpected, very exciting find. These are really the only hunting tools that I'm gonna need. I have my UV light right here and some safety glasses to protect my eyes from the UV rays that can bounce off of the rocks when I'm looking at stuff. So I'm gonna grab these, put these on, turn this UV light on, and we're gonna start walking, checking all these rocks. Check out the spider, guys. Glowing under UV light. So cool, and what do you have over here already, Bree? Uh, where'd, where'd it go? Where'd it go? There he is. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Baby. Uh, that's amazing. <laughs> and we just got here. Yep. That's a good sign. Yep. Three strikes again with <laughs> number two in the first five minutes. <laughs> I have my first one here. 
of the night. Check it out. It's uh, amazing how vibrant that stuff is. Spider number two, hiding. Don't Wild looking. If it <laughs> I don't know. It's, Let's see. Nope. <laughs> that would be terrifying. <laughs> I wish. Uh, this probably will right here, right? Huh? This probably will right there. Let's see. Let's see if this thing phosphoresces right here, guys. Okay, ready? Let's go. Boom, look at that. That's amazing. Oh, sir, here's oh, you got another one? Let me step over everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, this is a little bit unusual. We just found this on the beach here. There is a working flashlight. Well, it was working. There it goes. And look at this. I haven't tested this yet. There's a flashlight taped to two other lights. Let's see. Yep, I thought so. <laughs> the UV lights. Somebody was out here. They taped together a bunch of lights to make it a little bit stronger. The problem is... Well, they missed them because there's yeah. one right there. Oh, really? Yeah, Where? over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, there's one up there. We're using a different kind of light, not these kind of lights. These don't work as good, but... Yep, we got some uh, free UV lights and a regular flashlight. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's us using those lights that we just found. So you can tell they put out a lot of like bluish purple light here. Now check it out under the lights that we brought. There you go, so that's the reason these people probably weren't finding a whole lot. They're using the wrong wavelength light. Bree just found that one. Let's do the extraction. Oh, oh, oh. Right. So there you go. There it is, and that's yours, Bree. You found that one. He likes my foot. Take a look at what Bree just found. Look at that glow. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. That oh. is incredible. Oh. Beautiful find there. Oh. That is a killer one. Hot. All right. So one of the really special things about these Uper lights is that they look like a completely normal rock until you hit them with that UV light. When you hit them with that UV light, they start glowing. There's bugs everywhere out here, guys. Look at that, they look like they have like embers glowing inside of them. Take a look at this rock that I just picked up. It glows really vibrant and purple. I think that's showing up okay on the camera, but it's way, way more vibrant in person. And right as I was looking at this, Bree spotted several things right here. And Check this out right here. Oh, there's one. Oh, okay, what else? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Right Where? Oh my goodness! That's a good one right there. Oh man. And then, where is it? There's another one. Three. Three, all right. Look at that. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, look right here, guys. That's my best one so far tonight. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> They're so cool. All right, let's uh, keep walking down this beach here. Take a look at this big massive rock that we found here with a UV light real quick. Look at that. It's glowing. It has fluorescent soda light all in it. And it looks like a big giant rock. So I guess some of these are just breaking off from these. Look at this, a dead fish all glowing and looking very interesting. I'm not gonna keep that. Nope, I don't want that. You wanna keep that, Brie? No. All right, we'll leave it here. Maybe next time. Next time, yeah. 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 Check out that piece of fossilized coral right there. But just like that little rock I showed you, check this out real quick. This also will phosphoresce for a little bit. That is cool. Whoop. Look how vibrant blue that one is right there. That's awesome. I didn't find it. Bree found it. I'm jealous. Uh, that is so cool. I don't know exactly what mineral that is. No. But it's cool. Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> Check out the little waterfall flowing into this creek here with all kinds of really cool rocks. But check out the water and also these things. What is it? What, some type of moss or something? Yeah, it's a moss. It's a moss? That is weird looking. Look at it under a regular light. And then UV light again. 
That's weird. Look at that water. Yeah, that water's glowing too. That is so weird with that, uh, the rocks glow red. And the water's like a bluish, that's weird. There's a cool little rock in the creek here. Check it out. It might be Unikite. If it is Unikite, I think the green is like Epidote or something like that. What? That's cool. Look at this little piece of fossil coral that Brie got. It's all kind of polished down, but check this out. It is also phosphorescent, like that other one. This one kind of just phosphoresces on those dots. That is so cool. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, uh, that's nice, that's real nice, oh. but not as nice as what Brie just spotted. Uh, wait. There, oh there oh my is. goodness, that's the best one of the night so far. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my. That's nice, guys. <laughs> There's like lightning way off in the distance, too. Oh, beautiful. All right, Bree just found this one, and there's another one right there. It's gonna do the extraction. Boink! Oh, uh, yeah. Very nice stripes. All right, guys, check this out. We have a spider, and we have little uperlite right there. And, and a spider <laughs> and a uperlite. This is incredible. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Have a nice night. Let's see them. And there they are. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's one of my favorite ones of the night so far. Little medallion. Little medallion. Mm -hmm. Check this cool rock out right here. There's actually rocks all over here, but you see all the white. We think it's some type of calcite under a UV light. Look at that. It's really super red. Very interesting looking and it actually phosphoresces a very quick flash of red. Very weird. I love that stuff though. All right guys, I have a few of them here. There's this one right there. Nice. This one. And there's actually a third right over here. Where'd it go? Oh man. I like that one a lot. All three of them. Look at that. Oh, we got one at the water's edge right here. All right, yeah. Very nice. All right guys, the rocks are getting way bigger and that's a good sign because that means the size of the Uper lights could get bigger. So let's start walking with the UV light and checking. That's my best one of the night so far, guys. Oh my goodness, what's this side look like? It's amazing as well. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, that's a good sign for this spot with the bigger rocks. Let's keep walking. Oh, another spider, and then Bree found something ridiculous right there. Oh my goodness. That's another killer one. So we just found two amazing ones back to back. <laughs> they are definitely getting bigger, guys. Yeah. Uh, so nice. Yeah. Look at this big old giant guy right here. I love you. Can I touch you? I'm missing him. How close am I? Oh. Uh, he likes it. He feels so cool. There's one. Ooh, nice one too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Take a look at the guardian of the Uper light right there. Look at him. He's so cool. And then that. It's like a pretty nice one right there, Brie. Sweet. Me <laughs> okay, I love you. Give him some energy. Some energy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, child. Enjoy your evening. Get them spiders. Oh my goodness, we finally made it. 
just going up the stairs now. And then we are back to the vehicle. All right guys, here's some of the stuff laid out on the back of the truck. There's a whole container right there. It rained in it last night. Stuff up here, but check this stuff out a little bit closer. There's those Uper lights that you guys saw here. Can't really show those right now because it's daytime. Look at this, garnets. I've always wanted to find garnets. And I think these are replaced with like chlorite. There's some type of like garnet pseudoform or something like that. Look at that one, that's a killer. Very nice. We got serpentine down here. We have some black tourmaline with like quartz and mica here. There's a celestine here. This is actually, I think, one of my favorite things that we found because it was completely unexpected. This is definitely, now this is definitely the best thing found. Look at all those crystals in there. That is complete madness. Big geode of celestine and calcite there. Found a bunch of other celestine here. Just little random pieces, beautiful. Beautiful blue color on those. I almost forgot, we also got this star light and it's, uh, you can see the cool crossed crystal structure the way they grow together. Those are really cool, I've been wanting to find those for a long time. So that's about it. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Brie is an amazing artist. I'm gonna have her information linked down in the description below, so go check her out. We'll see you guys in the next video.